Hello, all my mystic friends. Welcome to your mystic affirmations for Thursday, April the 23rd, 2020. Many blessings to you all. Remember that this is a little different. This is an affirmation reading, which is more about bringing our vibe up from the, th from the different things that we have had to overcome. Uh, and we do it on a daily basis because sometimes we need it every five minutes. And these are some of the things we can remind ourselves of through the day to keep us focused on our goals and our manifestations. If you'd like to see a standard tarot reading or you'd like to see anything about my actual channel, you can scroll down here below the video and on the left side you'll see my eye icon. If you click that, it'll take you to my YouTube homepage where I have all the readings in different, different categories organized in playlists. So I hope you can enjoy those and see the different kinds of things I do with tarot. Uh, I am not your standard tarot reader. So we have also private readings. If you'd like to book a reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your reading. So with all the housekeeping done, let's get it on. Let's see what's going on. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure white light. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods, and Goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. I'm taking that. We thank you for these wonderful messages and we receive them in the divine, wonderful love and light they are intended. And we thank you for your guidance. We welcome your energy here and thank you for this blessed reading. And our underlier is the Ace of Swords. This is a victory card. This is a gift from the universe. It means direction, victory, as in uh, overcoming all obstacles and being able to have that moment of triumph. And it also means cutting through everything that may be holding you back, releasing yourself from oppressive energy or negative energy. And like I said earlier, it is a gift. And we have our beautiful, also the, when I said you can look below, it also has the names of the different decks I'm using. If you want to know who made them and how to, how to find them, you can, the names and the, the names of the authors of the decks are there. Ambition is our card today. I am ambitious and do not procrastinate or waste time being negative. Um, one of those things that I found for myself is I cannot watch the news. <laughs> <laughs> I see um, way too much negativity happening on there. So I look for, uh, I have a couple of friends who have sworn to me who love watching the news. They can handle it. Their energy is different than mine. And uh, they keep me abreast of anything that's immediately applying to me. And uh, that's our agreement. <laughs> they will let me know if there's something happening. So we have recovery here. This is a fabulous energy of bringing us back to a state of wholeness and uh, helping ourselves be in that place of pure divine light. And you see the angel is right there at her back, helping to bring her to a place of wholeness and receiving divine healing. Uh, some of it may be recovery from emotional stress because of all the things that are happening. This is not something that is happening in a vacuum everyone is affected so we all need that recovery whether it was something that was going on uh, it may be recovery from an event or something that's happened years ago we have to always be in a place of being able to allow it to come to the surface because if it shows up if you have something traumatic or some old issue that shows up it needs to be dealt with so that it won't keep showing up it's showing up because it's ready for you to handle it and it means that the universe believes you can. So don't stuff it. Let it come out. Let, let, let it go. Synergy. Ooh, I don't think I've ever had this one come out. Um, the frequency of synergy supports our allowance and acceptance of the not-so-obvious, never-seen-before combinations and unions that result from new ways of functioning working, thinking, or relating, loving, and being. It reminds us to embrace the unfamiliar so that now our new 
exciting co-creations can give birth to a new reality. Well, that was a, that was a mouthful, so I'm going to say it again because <laughs> I felt like I was stumbling through it. The frequency of synergy supports our allowance and acceptance of the not-so-obvious, never-seen-before combinations and unions that result in new ways of functioning, working, thinking, relating, loving, and being. It reminds us to embrace the unfamiliar so that the new yet exciting creations can give birth to a new reality. Boy, is this not a summation of what we're going through right now and any time you're making changes. Synergy. Loving that energy. Synchronistic energy. Wonderful. It, it is that excitement of creating and, and everything aligning. So, at least something new coming from whatever you're experiencing. And we are all in a new, a new realm here, aren't we? The past is over. This is a new day. One that I have never lived before. I stay in the now and enjoy each and every moment. Absolutely. That is a beautiful card. The past is over. It's a new day that has never been lived before. It's lining up with the Synergy card very well. I stay in the now and enjoy each and every moment. So we have to look at some of the good things that are coming out of what we're having to go through as far as uh, new ways of doing business and new ways of communicating. There's a lot of good things coming out of this beautiful moment of pause uh, for the rest of us who are not dealing with the immediate danger. I claim my own power and I lovingly create my own reality. I ask for more understanding so that I may knowingly and lovingly shape my world and my experiences. So this is where meditation comes in. When you ask the universe to open up for you and you say you're ready to receive, it will. Your higher self will show you and guide you. And sometimes we forget to go to that. I know, um, I'll just say this, as a writer, the, the thing that frees me sometimes is sitting down and just pouring it out all on the page. Yet sometimes when I'm going through the hardest thing, I don't write, which is my answer to how I cleanse myself and let myself view it from outside of my own reality. I, let, I get to step back when I write. So it empowers me and it allows me to heal. However, it's always the time I struggle to sit down and write. It's like I ignore the fact that that's going to be the thing that helps. So don't forget, we have to be in a place of accepting that we need to take a moment and allow ourselves to digest all of this and to communicate with our divine self, however that is. Meditation, writing, singing, dancing, sitting outside is good. You, you know, the universe is beautiful with nature. So, here's the, the Five of Pentacles. We just had this card. And this is talking about letting the, being patient with the progress. Allowing yourself to know that even though it may not look like it on the surface, Everything is going on underneath. When it looks like nothing's happening, everything's happening. So remember that. The universe is working in our behalf. We just has to get all the pieces in place before we can actually see it. The magician. This is the master manifester. This is the beautiful whole earth uh, being held in this beautiful creative space. And I know this is not really the earth. This is the crystal she's holding and, and using her heart energy. But it, I see it right now as the whole earth because that is what we're doing is we're doing this big healing project on ourselves and uh, the entire world, bringing that healing and loving energy. So when you're in a place of sending heart energy out, that is the highest vibration. So this is the place you need to be in when you're focusing your energy on your goals. And we have the Fool. Beautiful. Be this is a beautiful layout, guys. So the Fool is the moment we're on the edge about to take the leap into a new adventure um, and begin a new thing. So it means the ending of the past because as she steps off of this, and remember we had the, the past is over, um, the first card, so remember that you're not, it doesn't, we're going to move forward no matter what. Um, so we have to be willing to embrace this, this synergy and bring in the new concepts and the new things we, we can do because when change happens, we have to, we have to change with it. 
and um, and you can make it be a, a resistance where you are forced into the change, which is never fun, or you can look at it as an opportunity to, to do better things and have a better way of dealing with things, even though it may feel awkward and strange and not normal. It's okay, because normal is a gradual change anyway. As we go through life, we change. So... This is a beautiful energy of receiving the changes that are happening in the most positive way that you can and to manifest them for you in the best possible way. We have the healing and recovering energy and our, our promise to ourselves not to procrastinate or waste time being negative. That does not help healing. So negativity has no place in healing energy. So I love you all. Please stay safe and well. I send you blessings, love, light, healing, and protective energy. I'll see you again tomorrow. Namaste.